The opening of the embassy comes at no cost to the government of St. Lucia. That has been stated by the Prime by Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony. In a statement from his office, it says that the Prime Minister is mindful of the fiscal challenges of St. Lucia and the government secured the agreement with the Republic of China on Taiwan under the cooperation agreement that exists between the two states to fund the cost of the embassy in its initial year of operation. According to Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony, the embassy will serve the needs of St. Lucian students currently studying in Taiwan. He says that there are over 80 students studying there and that number is expected to increase in the next few years. Besides the establishment of the embassy, the Prime Minister said, gives St. Lucia presence in the vital Asian region to mobilize investment and trade opportunities for the island. The Prime Minister added that the government of St. Lucia has not appointed an ambassador to head that embassy and says there is no truth to this claim by the opposition. However, it will certainly do so in the near future. You're watching the CDV News. Stay with us. When we come back, Team St. Lucia returns as heroes.